Athens. Kes Jones on that. Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Here we go, folks. Drop some W's in the chat for Pierre. After eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost of housing. The cost of housing has, in fact, doubled since he promised to make housing more affordable. According to Rental.ca, rent has increased by over 20 percent throughout Canada in just two years. That is over $400 more for rent. Will the Prime Minister reverse his policies that caused this crisis? He needs to stop the bureaucrats who are blocking construction, and he needs to bring down deficits and interest rates. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative member for Dufferin Caledon best described our ambitions when it comes to housing. He said that our housing minister seems to announce a new program or announcement every day. He is absolutely right. We have been working hard week after week. We have reached new agreements through the fund in the Housing Accelerator Fund, and we have developed new tools to speed up the construction of affordable housing. Mm -hmm. We will continue to focus on our goal, which is to speed up home building. To gouge Canadians? The Leader of the Opposition. Announcements, programs, checks, yet no housing. <laughs> we live in housing or announcements made by this Prime Minister, Holy who is just here. not worth the cost. In fact... Construction sites have decreased. They have decreased by 28 percent in December as compared with last December. Will the Prime Minister put an end to these programs which balloon bureaucracy costs and interest rates so that we can truly build housing? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. The only thing the Conservative leader is offering is insults. He insults Quebec's elected officials and politicians. He insulted the mayor of Niagara. He uses the homeless as accessories for his own photo ops. A responsible leader. You make the people homeless. To invest in communities and to invest in housing. That's what we are doing. We remo removed GST for construction of new rental housing. We also announced funding, including $900 million for Quebec for housing. We are here to invest and to build. He's just here to invest. Oh, sh Pierre is going to clap back. He's down the centre de mille. Mr. Speaker, hundreds of thousands of dollars are being spent on bureaucracy. Oh, mon we don't dear. need this bureaucracy. The bureaucracy has ballooned by 50% since this Prime Minister took office. What we do need is not bureaucracy, but housing. His housing agency said that we will need 3.5 million housing units. But this week, the CBC said that given our population growth and the drastic drop in construction, we will, in fact, need 5 million housing units. Where will these 5 million families live? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, he's talking about bureaucracy, but on the contrary, we're investing in municipalities in order to decrease red tape and to speed up home building throughout the country. We have signed about 30 housing accelerator fund deals in order to build more units faster. We are going to increase densification. We've impro we're improving zoning. We are speeding up the use of certain lands, and we are increasing affordable housing. We're here to invest in a real and tangible way. Meanwhile, he just wants to insult people. Opposition. Mr. Speaker, these are the same promises he made eight years ago before he doubled housing costs. He's not worth the cost yeah. of housing, which is up 100 percent. In the last two years alone, according to Rent.ca, the rent is up 20 percent or $400 for the average family. And now we learn Insane. construction is in free fall, down 28 percent last December versus the December before. Will he stop funding bureaucracy and driving up interest rates so that we can bring homes Canadians can afford? Hey. There you go. Drop some W's in the chat. Prime Minister. Our housing ambition can be best summed up by the Conservative member for Dufferin Caledon, who said that it seems that every day our Minister of Housing has a new program, a new announcement, or a new check for Canadians. That's exactly right, Mr. 
Mr. Speaker. We continue to work hand in hand with Canadians, with municipalities across the country, municipalities that need rather insult to get more homes built faster, Mr. Speaker. The investments we're making, including things like taking the GST off purpose built rental housing, which the Conservatives voted against, will continue to create more homes for Canadians right across the country. This guy's freaking delusional, man. Leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, you can't live in announcements and programs. You need homes that have walls. You need action. Floors and ceilings. The Prime Minister doing another selfie instead of a, in front of a construction site won't do that. Oh. Construction is down 28% in December after eight years of this Prime Minister's promises and spending. Will he accept our common sense plan to build homes and not bureaucracy? Yeah, man. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Great job, Mr. Chair. Speaker, uh, just last week I was in Kitchener Waterloo making an announcement uh, for. Uh, <laughs> he sure was taking little photos. Taking photos. <laughs> Building for seniors that 33 all those chants of funding are from the conservatives government a few years ago allowed to be built today we are building things today that people are moving into in the coming weeks and we are announcing how we are building things for tomorrow as opposed to him who just chooses to insult canadians insult mayors and insult our intelligence doesn't take much to insult your intelligence, buddy. Hey, everyone, smash the like button. Let's try and get to a thousand likes if we can. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by t tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.